Hey, this is Montgomery County District Attorney Brett Ligon. And one of the things that I'm trying to get out there to the message is just that general sense of, hey, be calm. We're all in this together and we're all going to get out of this just fine. The county judge has been having conversations not only with the state, but as well as at the national level that has an impact on criminal justice and business issues. And so I kind of want to talk about a few things that are going on within Montgomery County. But first of all, I want to thank everybody for being compliant. Uh, Sheriff Henderson and I have continued to have conversations about the amount of compliance that we're receiving from restaurants and bars and the amount of voluntary effort that we're getting from the community that stops us from having to use the law enforcement authority that we would have under the emergency declaration order to get people into compliance. The sheriff and I both understand that this is a time of a lot of angst and a lot of concern and a lot of confusion. We have orders that are coming from municipalities like the city of Houston. We have orders that are coming from a county judge, whether it's Judge Hidalgo in Harris County or Judge Keogh. But we also have emergency orders coming in from our state government, like Judge, uh, Governor Abbott, as well as Donald Trump. And so, like everybody else, we're trying to make sense of all those orders, and everybody's doing the best that we can. But I can tell you this, there is no martial law in Montgomery County, nor will there ever be martial law in Montgomery County. We're not shutting the roadways down in Montgomery County, nor is anybody at gunpoint going to force anybody to stay in their home. And that's probably the most important message that I could give you. Continue to act as if you're going to be able to get to your grocery stores. Continue to act as if you're going to be able to get out to your pharmacies. Because I assure you, there is no deputy, there's no constable, there's no trooper, no officer that is going to come in your house today, tomorrow, or the next day and enforce a restriction that makes you stay at home in Montgomery County. It's just not going to happen. Judge Keogh understands that there's a difference between the rural population in Montgomery County as opposed to an urban population in Harris County. And so don't look to your neighbors to the, to the south, like Harris County, or to our north in, in Dallas, or to Bear County as a good barometer of what we might do here in Montgomery County. Judge Keogh consistently has tied what we do within Montgomery County to what the CDC recommendations are. And so when they limited the population that they should gather at 250, then you saw Montgomery County adopt that. Then when they reduced it down to 50, then you saw Montgomery County do that. And so Montgomery County has a little bit more of a restrictive uh, set of rules right now that are, going, that are temporary. These are merely temporary and they're going to be lifted on April 2nd when it comes to bars and restaurants. Will that continue on? Well, it just depends on the growth rate of the COVID right now. And so you're seeing a little bit difference in this economy and in this jurisdiction with different jurisdictions. Judge Keogh understands and the conversations that I've continued to have them is you can't police Montgomery County the Woodlands is not Dobbin, Texas, and Dobbin, Texas is not the Woodlands, and the Woodlands is not Harris County, and so we have different populations with different needs and different drives. And so the governor's continued to either make or allow, depending on your point of view, every local jurisdiction rule itself. Now, because of that, there has been some confusion. We understand that confusion, particularly when it comes to the declaration orders, which is why the sheriff and I continue to stress compliance. We're not trying to have anyone arrested. We don't want people to be arrested. What we want is for everybody to continue to carry on, and we'll see you on the other side. Well, Scott, did you have some specific questions yeah, you want to ask me? Law enforcement, how are we, what kind of cases are you getting now? I mean, is it, it, it seems like it's gotten quiet up. There's no traffic out there, no nothing. So what we had is good conversations with law enforcement going on probably for the last two weeks or so, which we were talking about voluntary compliance, the difference between being a proactive police officer versus being a reactive. And so you'll still see that officers are still continuing to respond to calls for service. You're still seeing arrests go on at the county jail. Now our numbers of arrests have been cut, probably 40% somewhere in there. But if there is a victim tied to these offenses, if you beat somebody, if you abuse somebody, if you victimize somebody, you're still getting arrested and you're still going to jail and you're still getting held there. Now what have we seen? We've asked that there's be a delay perhaps get a warrant. So say, for example, if somebody's arrested for a small amount of marijuana or contraband, we're asking that the drugs would be seized, marked in a report, and that if possible, that we'd get an offense, that we'd get an offense report and a warrant. The warrant will be executed, but right now we're kind of making that determination of we don't want an isolated population in the jail being exposed to a whole lot of outside traffic, nor do we want a whole lot of outside traffic and citizenry being exposed to letting people out of the jail. Once again, do not compare Montgomery County to our counties uh, in larger urban areas. We have done a very, very gradual phase down at the uh, population of the jail. The sheriff has a bulwark system of new people that are into the jail are isolated from the main, for the main jail population. 
And so if you imagine a bulwark on a ship, right? One hull, as long as it doesn't get uh, breached, won't spill into another hole, and so the whole ship doesn't go down. So the sheriff has a system set in place to where any new people that are arrested as part of this declaration order, or anybody that's been arrested, is isolated from the main jail population. And so that population, if they're in there, will stay in there for 14 days before they're brought into the main jail population in a way to limit what's going on. So the sheriff has some very innovative ideas to keep the general population in jail safe. We have some ideas that'll keep the main population away from those people that we put in jail for a reason. And there's a lot of people that need to be in jail or are going to continue to be in jail. There is no mass release, there's no mass uh, forgiveness. Victim cases are still getting prioritized. And as you can see here in Montgomery County at the DA's office, we're still business as usual. Now we have a few things here at our office, just like you should have everywhere else. We have our hand sanitizer and we have our wipes. So we don't go anywhere without these and I'm hoping that you don't either. I'm Brett Ligon, Montgomery County District Attorney, and I hope you have a safe day.